What's up guys, it's Danny with TrailMountain.com doing gear view on the Sea to Summit Micro 2 sleeping bag. This is an ultralight sleeping bag and uh, as you can see while it's in its stuff sack, that's as big as it is. That's tiny, you know what I mean? So um, it compresses down super small and uh, I don't know if you can see it's some of the specs on here but it has little specs on the outside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to let it loft back up and I'm going to pull it out. I have a thermarest sitting on the ground here in front of me so I'm going to just lay it out on that and show you what this thing is all about. Now, this thing is truly, truly incredible. Right, so. Toss the stuff sack off to the side here. Alright, so as I said, here's the Sea to Summit micro two bag. I'll step over here and make it a little easier so you can see me. And um, this is the long version, so it's actually really, really long. But what I like about this it has a full hood and you know drawstring. Another cool thing about this, and as compared to a lot of other sleeping bags out there, is that it has a full length zip. So, in essence, you could unzip this thing completely. Uh, you can see the whole thing, but completely, and you have a, a blanket. You could use this thing as a blanket. Um, another cool thing is that on the inside, I can't remember where they put it, I think it's over here. Yeah, right here. They put a little pocket. So, you got a pocket for, you can put like your iPod in there or stuff like that, whatever you want to do. Um, this thing lofts up really, really nicely. And this is, thing is rated at 36 degrees. Um, this is my, this is uh, Sea to Summit's Micro 2. And it's the, uh, it's their lightest weight sleeping bag that Sea to Summit makes. So, um, you know, even coming out of a, um, a stuff sack, this thing lofts up really nice and really, really cushiony. Um, it's, uh, it has 850 plus. The, the loft on this thing is about 850, well, uh, at least 850, I should say. Eastern European goose down. And, uh, they have a 2D nano shell, so it's it's really really lightweight, very breathable, and the the shell is water resistant, not waterproof, but water resistant. Um, and uh, you know this thing for the long, it's um, the long is uh, it's it's two two hundred and seventy five grams is what they have this thing weighted um, for the fill weight. Now, actual, actual for the bag weight, is one pound six ounces for the total bag and everything. So, that's really, really lightweight. Um, as I said, full length zip. And uh, you saw how big this thing compresses down. Compresses down to nothing. And this bag was extremely, extremely warm. Um, I used this bag in, in Big Sur just recently. And the... Um, temperature didn't drop below say 45 at night and I was extremely warm all night long uh, I did no inkling of being cold whatsoever um, so I did actually not use this thing as a mummy I opened it up to a full length like this and just used it as a as a blanket um, on top of my thermo rest here so you know it's really really good Sea to Summit did an awesome job with this and um, you know, you saw how, how compressible it is. Uh, the, the high quality of the, the fill weight, it's 850 plus fill. Feather down, uh, downproof shell. Liner fabrics are just incredible. Super soft, very, very comfortable. Um, you know, it comes with its own compression sack. So, now as I said about the, uh, the full length zip, which is a huge benefit. I don't think any other sleeping bag I've seen has one got a drawstring hood a lot of companies have that so you know no no uh, huge kudos there for you know see the summit but this thing excels on every other level um, my impression of the bag personally I thought this bag was the most comfortable bag I've used it was definitely the warmest and um, 
yeah, I just, I, I really, really enjoyed it. I, I loved how quick and easy it was to put in the compression sack. Um, how it repelled moisture. I didn't really have any moisture buildup whatsoever on the outside or the inside of the bag. It was very breathable. And what I do like about this is after you zip this thing, Another great feature on this thing, I can see this, this is the footbed, it's open. It's not a complete seal, so if you wanted to seal it, you cinch that down and you got your sealed bag in the end, okay? Now, the reason for this is, you know, a lot of people, they want their feet to vent, you know, they want a vent at the bottom of the bag, that's huge. So, I really enjoyed that feature personally. Um, just that you can actually zip it or uh, cinch it down and you have your mummy or if you wanted to open it, no problem. There it is and you have your vent for your feet, not only for your feet but for your legs as well. You know, um, I really enjoyed the way that they built this bag. I mean, I don't know if you can see it but they have X and Y axis uh, baffle construction so the way that this thing is constructed, I have no idea how the hell they did this but it is awesome. And you know when you can like hold up a, an old like comforter for your bed, you hold it up in the sunlight and you can see clumps of filling here and there and there's some cold spots and stuff like that where they, there's no filling. This doesn't have that. The way these, uh, these guys make this construction for this bag is there's no cold spots anywhere um, throughout the construction. So kudos and more kudos to uh, Sea to Summit for the way they built this bag. As I said, I have no idea how the hell they do it. But, awesome job, because they did do it. So I'm going to show you the, uh, how this thing goes in the stuff sack. It's super easy. This is the stuff sack right here. It's just a compression sack. So I'm just going to move the camera once again, and I'm going to stuff this bad boy in the stuff sack and show you how easy it is. Stuffed in, you just loop the little lid over the end. Like that. And then you start your straps. Done. How's that for compressibility? This thing is awesome. Kudos to Sea to Summit. You're making great products. All right, that's my review of the Sea to Summit Micro 2 sleeping bag. As I said, this is the long version. It is the um, lightest weight sleeping bag Sea to Summit makes. It's uh, 1.6 ounce for this one, which is the long. The regular is 1.3 ounces, so a little bit lighter weight. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Kudos to Sea to Summit. Thank you very much for sending me the bag. I really appreciate using it and um, can't wait to test more products with Sea to Summit. They're an awesome company. Uh, have their X mug and some other stuff that they have as well. So um, thanks again for tuning in to trailermountain.com and uh, get outdoors. Thanks again, guys. Take care. <laughs>
Oh,